I just found these little babies. Do you, do you guys mess up or what happened? <laughs> What's up, SOS? We're big flags. <laughs> Stop ready. As you know, in the past, I've done a lot of projects that have focused on investigating high school dress codes and seeing just how hard they can be to follow. But this time, we're gonna do five dress codes from one state. And that state is Florida. Oh, I don't think it's gonna go well for me. I'm looking at your clothes right now, and from my experience, I can tell you that you are absolutely right. <laughs> Here are the rules for this challenge. We are going to go through our wardrobes for each of the five schools that we've picked from Florida to see how much of our wardrobes we could wear to those schools. After we figure this out, we are going to wear an outfit for every school that we picked. And there's a twist. A twist? A twist. <laughs> One of those outfits is gonna be an outfit that we know violates the dress code, but that we think we might be able to get away with. Our principal, who's going to be played by Chrissy, yeah! is going to be examining each of our five outfits to see if we are violating the dress code. You know what I just realized? What? I'm wearing earrings that say off. <laughs> if she figures out that we are breaking the dress code, we have to wear one of those yellow shame shirts that's like, I broke the dress code and so here's a yellow shirt over my body, woohoo, I'm a circus. Are those real? That's real? Yeah, some schools use them. But if she guesses wrong, she has to wear the yellow shame shirt. <laughs> I'm like getting anxious. <laughs> Ready to do some Florida dress codes? No, but let's do it. Hey. This is the clothes that we wear. Like, this is our current usable wardrobe. Yes. First school, let's go. This is for Lake Mineola High School in Mineola, Florida. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. I am reading directly from these dress codes. We are quoting what is written on the page. Makeup that is disruptive or does not allow direct eye contact is prohibited. What does that mean? What kind of makeup doesn't allow direct <laughs> eye contact? Like, if you paint boobs on your eyelids? <laughs> all garments must not be less than sleeveless clothing. So I can't wear this. Yeah, I love how you got that right away, because I don't understand what must not be less than sleeveless clothing. This is less. This is Florida, too. It's pretty hot, right? Yeah. yeah this is all gone. This is all gone. Yeah. Oh my god. No, you, are. you haven't even gotten to the... Nitty gritty yet. Students are not allowed to wear sleepwear, revealing clothing, or clothing that exposes the torso. I only wear crop tops. But I wear high-waisted jeans. Should we try on your high-waisted jeans with your crop top? You gotta raise them arms. Okay, so that doesn't work. I'm mad. Revealing clothing is also extremely subjective. Like, what is revealing? We don't know. Maybe it reveals my elbow. Reveal these nuts. Okay, lower garments. Clothing must be worn appropriately and properly fastened with no tears that reveal skin two inches above the knee. Oh yeah, no, that's not gonna work. <laughs> skin tight recreation clothing, e.g. bike pants, tights, leotards, no leggings unless worn under shorts or skirts that conform to appropriate dress code policy shall not be worn. First of all, this is terrible grammar. It starts an entirely new sentence yeah. within a parenthetical of an original sentence. Hemlines for dresses, skorts, skirts, and or shorts must be no shorter than mid-thigh. I don't know, I'm gonna have to try this on because yeah. I don't know if this is mid-thigh. I love this dress so much. I know. It's such a good color. I know. However, it's too short. It's too short. Jewelry worn in pierced body parts shall be limited to the ear. Oh, so you're in trouble. <laughs> Chains other than necklaces considered to be jewelry. And so called hip hop chains. Hip hops is in quotation marks. Hip hop <laughs> chains? Oh, no, it's so called. <laughs> As the kids call them. What a beautiful wardrobe we have to leave on the table. Right, so many cute things. I know, but you still have a complete outfit though. Like I you, do, you, shockingly. You can wear clothes to school, yeah. and so can I. <laughs> Are you ready to try them out? We're gonna put them to the test. Are you ready to try and trick Principal Chrissy? Yes. <laughs> Great, it's our first dress code we're trying to follow. Ooh. 
This is the issue. We chose the items of clothing that we wear the most, mm -hmm. but what I should have done was I should have been more intentional about the items that I chose <laughs> so that they looked good together. I mean, I'm not feeling it. I'm not feeling my best self. Now, we're gonna go to Principal Chrissy and see if we're gonna have to put on the yellow shirts for the school. Are you ready? Principal Chrissy. <laughs> What is it now, student? <laughs> All right, so you're wearing a shirt. That's mm -hmm. good. That's a sleeve. Yeah. Good job. Lower garments. Clothing must be worn appropriately. What? Pants or pants. Cool. <laughs> okay, so far so good. Jewelry worn in pierced body parts shall be limited to ear. Oh, oh. <laughs> Ew, that's not an ear. Right, we're not doing jewelry because I don't want to make Fred take her nose right now. You passed the outfit code test. Oh. Good job. Okay, you gotta evaluate me. Okay. Nothing is see through, nothing is sheer, right? Wait, what <laughs> this are you poking? Doing? <laughs> what? No. Nope. Oh my god, I feel like I'm like a piece of meat Wait on a spit. Wait a minute, spit. properly fastened. Wait, what? What's wrong? This bun is a little <gasps> skewed. Okay, it's just, it's a detail. Ooh. It's a little, de I'm just fixing the detail. <laughs> you passed. Oh my god, thank Woo! you. I have struggled with zipper issues on these pants and I went to the restroom and I can't get the zipper back up. Will you help me get my... <laughs> wow, Kristen, wow. Oh, it's stuck. I... It's like actually for real stuck. Principal Chrissy, there's an issue. <laughs> so before you ding me on this, can you help me get the zipper up? <laughs> Okay, well, we'll just pretend that this is fine. Okay. Okay. <laughs> your butt's out. I know. <laughs> I've never been this close to your butt. It's right there. It, it really? I can see your crack. <laughs> Am I gonna have to wear the shame shirt? I feel really bad because mm -hmm. you actually followed all the rules. But when your pants bust, <laughs> you get busted. You, you get, get busted. busted. <laughs> Actually, I don't hate this shirt. The, it's kind of the... cute with your outfit. <laughs> Over the shoulder. Wait. Wait, let's see. Wait, Fashion. This is actually this is actually really cute. <laughs> Next school is the Collier County Public Schools. This is in Naples, Florida. Halter tops, tube tops, short shorts. Okay, well a lot of your shirts are, are going to no town. Damn it. <laughs> that shows my tummy. Not allowed. It says, hi, I'm a tummy. Look at how long these things are. If I can't wear these. Do it, you gotta do it. Yeah, you can't wear them. What sucks is that if I wore these, they'd be fine for me. They would. They'd be fine for me. Um, we have different figure to, yeah, because we have like different how, arm lengths. Yeah. This rule was never a problem for me in high school, ever. Yeah, you could like. I could have worn, You I mean, could get down with the cutie cutters in high school. I could, I did not. Pretty crazy that I have more items than you. I got dinged on the cleavage. That's where my downfall was. It was right down my boobs. <laughs> we are doing our next school. Are you trying to trick her this time? Okay, mm -hmm. I think so. I wasn't planning on it. You see a little bit Jordan. This is literally how I would wear this outfit. Like, I don't want to tuck it. I don't want to look like a, a theme park dad. Well, are you ready for round two? Yes. You guys look cute. Thanks. Thank you. <laughs> but do we look cute enough for school? We're about to find out. What's that? <laughs> What's that? I was seconds. really hoping. Reaching up in that locker. What's this? Midriff. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> All right. Back on. Shirt back Bye. on. Look at the shirt. Wow. Look at the shirt, Freddy. Fred. Oh my God. <laughs> How have I been? in the shirt twice and we're, we've only done two school. Are you wearing a halter? No. no. Tube top? No. no. Some dresses no. in short shall reflect modesty and good taste. What does that mean? I don't know. In modesty? It's up to you. It's up to you, Principal Chrissy. I hate this. Okay. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna say you're fine. Got three more schools to go. Don't be un immodest. Now we're gonna do West Shore Junior Senior High School in Melbourne, Florida. Inappropriate torn or ripped clothing is not permitted. But what is inappropriate? Right. I'm It'd willing... be different if they just said torn or ripped clothing. I'd be willing to bet your pants probably fall under that though. Why? Well, because I can stick my fist through the top part. <laughs> Couple things are going away for me. Okay, Freddie, I wear this all the time. You do. And I think it's too short. 
Yeah, no, it's too short. I think it's too short. Yeah. Straps of permitted garments must be a minimum of one and a half inches in width. Nope. Yeah, little hair ties for straps. <laughs> I was like, okay, this is vague. All right, all right. It and then it right got- right until the very end. It, it got started getting real ass specific. specific. It's time for school three. I'm backing up. <laughs> You're backing up <laughs> I am on the straight and narrow today. Cause you have Yesterday <laughs> was a lot. Um, I feel good. I feel better in this today than I did in the outfits yesterday. I'm, I mean, this should should work. Yeah. Welcome. Are you ready for more of this? I guess. <laughs> okay, so you must be mid thigh or below. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that looks mid thigh. Yeah. What's that? I forgot that was there. <laughs> I forgot that was there too. <laughs> Uh -huh. Thigh is here. Uh -huh. Mid thigh would be like here. Oh no! You did an ass. <laughs> you did with so. a shirt again. <laughs> Ew! Three times. I hate this. I love this outfit. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I am so sorry. <laughs> I. I am taking a bath. Is shirt even covering that? No. <laughs> Well, it is. Well, actually, it is. It is actually. So, we already know one and a half inches. Clearly, you're fine. Length is clearly fine. But the slit, I think, is more than halfway down. Oh, that's not true. Oh, really? Oh, no. Actually, not halfway not, down. Not. <laughs> wow, in two seconds. Broke the rules. Put the shirt on. How did they already break the rules? Put the shirt on. <laughs> wow, we both thought that we were fine. You know. <laughs> I'm not built for this. We both, we're both fans of the dress code violation, <laughs> violation band. So this next dress code is from Ida S. Baker High School in Cape Coral, Florida. Okay, shoes shall be worn at all times. Oh my god, we know. <laughs> what? Chris, you love to take a shoe off. I do love to take my <laughs> shoes off, okay? I'm a barefoot person. Also must have sleeves and shoulders must be covered. So this one actually specifies that off the shoulder means- Is prohibited. Yes. Yes. You're still okay. You're gone. You're gone. Backless. And that rule Can't yet? show midriff. Okay, that's gone too. I would be in the principal's office literally every day. <laughs> All pants must extend to the knee and be fastened at the waist. Wow. Oh. Oh, so your shorts are gone. Bracelets and rings? Oh. Well, I can't wear my wedding ring to high school. What surprises me is how many more clothes you are left with consistently. Yeah, me too. At the end of the day, we're left with this. Okay, we're doing school four. You but seem really demoralized. I'm over it. Oh, you're bringing back <laughs> this shirt. It's all I have left. Mm -hmm. but this time you're tucking it. <laughs> okay. Transparent or see through tops, blah, blah, blah. Did it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, finally. Yeah. Well, you did it. But also, I don't want to wear this, really. So low cut clothing. I can see your bra. You can see my bra? Yeah. But what if I did this? They said no adjusting. <laughs> Ooh! No, 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 no. <laughs> Do I have to put on the shirt? Yeah, I saw your black bra. <laughs> There's never a moment in adulthood where you're like, I feel proud proclaiming to people that I had to cover up my boobs. This school is Oakleaf High School in Orange Park, Florida. A good rule of thumb. If there is a question about whether an outfit would be acceptable, choose another. Ooh. Shorts, dresses, or skirts must be three inches above the knee or longer. Which means it could get you oh. right there, right? Yeah. Yeah. The other school. Yeah, mid thigh is a little leeway. higher, yeah. I think these work. Yeah. Okay. Yoga pants, yoga is in all caps. Yoga <laughs> pants are not acceptable attire for school. Unless they're underneath uh, those jeans, in which case apparently they're fine. What is the issue with shoulders? Just across the board. I think shoulders are very naughty and they need to be taught a lesson. Oh, are you distracted? <laughs> Do you not know math anymore? This is exhausting. I'm, I'm tired. So I'm, I'm so tired. I'm so tired. I'm always tired after we do this. I should be able to wear all of this. You should. Oakley High School, Oak school number five. Still Sorry. out of shirts. Still out of shirts. <laughs> this is the one that I'm like. I'm just trying to see if I can get past this. Principal is coming to you this time. <laughs> Third time with the shirt. <laughs> Shorts, dresses, or skirts should be three inches above the knee or longer. Okay. What's that smile? Nothing. <laughs> That's a lot of inches. Four. 
Shirt. Sure. Wait. <laughs> Wait. Shirt. Sure. Shirt. Sure. Sure. I love this dress. Thank you. Cover it up. Oh, shorts should be three inches above the knee. You're not even close. It's five. It's five inches. Shirt sure it. Shirt. Sure. Shirt. Sure. Okay, I'm done with this project. Okay, cool. <laughs> so having done this before, I feel like... Florida's dress codes, at least the sample we got, were all on the more conservative side. For sure. Because I feel like a lot of the rules were different, but they all led you to the same conclusion of not being able to wear the same clothes. Exactly. It didn't matter how you got there, I still couldn't wear 95% of my wardrobe. One of those schools that we just did, you couldn't show your shoulders at all. Like... You don't want the hurricanes to see them. It's like, woo, and it's like a category five Ooh. on my body. Here's the thing. I think that rules should be made more around the climate of the schools that they are located in. Tell us in the comments what state we should do next. That was wacky. Sorry for torturing you. <laughs> Ooh, <child. laughs> Thank <laughs> you.